Hey guys, it's Baby Beyonce 2003 here, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Holiday Melodies. And you're probably wondering, why am I reviewing this if, I mean, if I hate it, because you probably already know I hate it. And I'm pretty sure almost everybody hates a CD, or at least doesn't like it. And you're probably wondering, why didn't I review Baby Santa, or Holiday Classics, or Baby's Holiday Symphony? Well, I reviewed this because... I don't know. I it was just it's just more interesting because I have more to say. Because this is not only really going to be a, a review. It's probably going to turn into a rant as it goes on because this CD is just oh boy, and it's just not good. Which before I, before I get into talking about my actual opinion of this CD, let's actually look over it. So you see, it says. No, this thing is like peeling off. Okay, pulled it off. All right. Anyways, Baby Einstein, Holiday Melodies, a merry musical collection of seasonal sounds for little ears to enjoy. And then we have the reindeer, Pavlov, Baby Vivaldi, and the mouse. I actually really like this cover. It looks cool, especially Pavlov's blue scarf. And it's, yeah, this this cover is honestly probably my favorite thing about this CD, which is which is which is pretty bad considering that this CD has 18 tracks, and yeah, we'll, we'll get into that later. Like I said, so I don't want to start ranting yet. But here's a track list. You may not even know what some of these songs are. I didn't even know what most of these were until I got the CD like eight years ago for Valentine's Day. Uh, and yes, I did get this for Valentine's Day when I was younger. You now it's kind of weird, but I don't know. Uh, 2006. I always forget if this was made in 2006 or 2005, but I guess it's 2006. And you notice... Bill Weisbach did not make the music for this. It's made by a guy named Ted Crisco. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. And that, that may or may not contribute to a reason why I hate this CD. Actually, okay, well, anyways, here's Baby Evaldi with a wreath again. Literally just stolen from the front cover. They could have used something else, but I guess they were too lazy. Ah, uh, what a surprise. Oh, I, oh, wait, this is, oh, wait, this is by Disney. I just realized that. That, that explains a lot. Okay. Here's the sides. I mean, both sides are the exact same, of course. Alright. Now we're going to open this up and reveal the first mistake of a CD me. Green. Red. Like, really? They can't even keep the colors consistent? And then I'm going to show this paper, actually. I can get it out. Um, all right. All right. I'm just going to show it this way. So, yeah. Um, if you want to pause at any time, go ahead. Why are they advertising Meet the Orchestra when they could be advertising Baby Got Whale or a Baby Beethoven or Baby Neptune? I have no idea. And weird, oh yeah, weird thing. They mentioned Baby Santa's Christmas Joy right there. Even though, like, that book was made in, like, 2001. And it's just kind of weird because, you know, it's kind of like Baby Shakespeare and Baby Van Gogh books, which they discontinued and stopped advertising. And, uh, I don't know, it's just kind of weird to see this on here when it looks... You know, it's like an older thing compared to the rest of the stuff, which looks newer. If you get what I'm saying, I, I might have worded that weirdly, but... Oh, wow. Baby Santa, 2004, and Baby's First Moose. What a great duo of DVDs to include there. Uh, that, that's one of the best possible picks you could have done. Uh, oh, boy, did he. And yes, that was sarcasm, of course. Okay. Here, track list again. I actually really like this background. Another one of the best things about this CD. And, okay. Here's the, the American music 
conference thing. This is also on some other CDs. I remember seeing it on Baby No Long Traveling Melodies. Uh, I guess I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't pay. I don't really look at the CD papers much, so I wouldn't know. Anyways, we're like five minutes in, and I think I'm ready to start ranting now. Let me just put this paper back and. Oh boy! Oh boy, this C. Why? Why is this logo here? Because if you listen to this CD, it sounds absolutely nothing like Baby Einstein. None of the songs have any resemblance to Baby Einstein at all. At least Ed Cowan's music and Baby Da Vinci Baby Wordsworth still had some res resemblance to Baby Einstein. This like, has nothing. And the fact is that all 18 tracks are just new tracks that are forgettable and don't sound like Baby Einstein. Where other CDs, I mean, Animal Friends also has weird music that doesn't sound like Baby Einstein. But it also has some tracks that are taken from Baby Noah, which are familiar by Weisbach. Baby Mozart 2 has the tune-up on it, at least. And plus, Baby Mozart 2 actually has better music than Animal Friends and Holiday Melodies. Anyways, but... And plus... Now you might even be saying, uh, that, I mean, yeah, this, that, is this worse than Playdate Fun and Scene and Play? Actually, yeah, it is. Scene and Play and Playdate Fun, while the scene along songs on those CDs are way worse than any of the songs on here, the instrumental songs are thousands of times better. Like, Scene and Play has Maple Leaf Rag and Playdate Fun has Country Dances and Pineapple Rag. What does Holiday Melodies have? Nothing. Now, it's not really the songs themselves that are our problems. Actually, there are many songs on here that I actually like the melodies of. Like, Adeste Fiddles, uh, Carol of the Bells, First Noel, A Christmas Tree, The Twelve Days of Christmas, although Baby Santa version does it better. Uh, I Saw Three Ships, It Came Upon Midnight Clear. Uh, those songs are actually pretty good as songs, but the instruments... The instruments in these songs are what's bad. They sound nothing like Baby Einstein. They try to be real. They try to sound like, like a real orchestra or something. But it fails even more than Meet the Orchestra does. Like, I mean, yeah. E even more than the music in Meet the Orchestra fails with sounding like a real orchestra. Since some music in Meet the Orchestra sounds kind of realistic, but not all of it. This just sounds fake and bad. I mean, I, I love Adeste Fiddle as a, as a song, but but Baby Einstein... No, I'm not going to call it Baby Einstein version. I'm going to call it the Holiday Melodies version. Sounds awful. It sounds nothing like Baby Einstein. Some other songs on the CD that sound nothing like Baby Einstein, especially Over the River and Through the Woods. Sounds It, it sounds nothing like... It doesn't sound like something that should be in Baby Einstein. Also, uh, Here We Come a uh, Wassailing. I probably said that in a stupid way, but whatever. That, that just sounds nothing like Baby Einstein. Some songs on this CD sound really sad, like they shouldn't be like fun, fun, fun all through the night. Where, I mean, I know in Baby Santa there is low how a rose ear blooming, but that song, I used to think it was really sad, but now I find it more relaxing instead. Also, uh, there are some songs on here, but I don't even know what they are. Toyland? Up on the housetop? Ding Dong Merrily on High, and like some of these songs, I don't even, I don't even know if they were related to Christmas, and I don't even know if they are, like, Over a River and Through the Woods, does that really have to do with Christmas? I mean, yeah, I like that song, I remember, like, even saying that when I was little, although, I didn't have to go over a river and through the woods to get to my grandmother's house, but, and I also, but, what was I gonna say, oh yeah, yeah, but, but, okay, but main point is that, Good songs, good melodies, awful instruments that sound nothing like Baby Einstein. Like, this CD seems rushed. Okay, maybe not rushed exactly, but I mean, there are some things. I mean, you know, this is green and the disc is red, and also this just being copied and pasted from the front. And maybe the fact that, you know, Weisbach was probably working on Baby Faith at the time, which is why he couldn't do music for this. But then why did they even make this? Was it for money? Because... That's what it seems like to me. I can't really think of a better explanation. Because the music on this CD just sounds really unfitting for Baby Einstein. And it's why I rarely even think about this CD or listen to it. Probably my favorite song on this CD is, 
it came upon a midnight clear since instrument choice is better than most of the other songs and it's pretty above average for this cd but it's still not a very good song which is saying a lot which is why this is my least favorite baby Einstein cd i want to say it's like completely i want to say it's like complete trash but it's it's still a pretty bad cd and wow this managed to get over 10 minutes because i just had so much to say about this but okay well I wonder if anybody actually watched this entire video. I mean, probably. I don't know. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to end this now. So, those are my thoughts on Holiday Melodies. A.K.A. Uh, the Baby Einstein ripoff that has the Baby Einstein logo and characters on the front. Uh, I mean, this is probably made for money. Knowing, you know, n knowing Disney, I mean, that, that, that just makes sense. They already self-promoted themselves on Baby Noah, so why not just make some stuff for money? Alright, all right. this is like 11 minutes, so I need to end this. This is Baby Austin 2003 signing up.